What is 3D printing and why would I want to get a printer? Hey fellow YouTubians, my name is Eugene and welcome to my channel Fusion Source. 3D printing allows you to create things in a virtual environment and then to print them out into the real world with good level of accuracy and precision. Where can you get your models from? Well, there's a good number of places you can get them from. You can download them from websites such as Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, which are generally free models. Thingiverse has over 1.4 million free models on the site. You can go to paid sites such as Yegi, and the advantage of this is that you get a professional model that you can print out. So now you've downloaded your model from Thingiverse or from whenever, or you've made your own using uh, CAD software such as Fusion 360, what do you do with it? You bring that model into a slicer. Now, a slicer is there to make it understandable to the printer. It creates a what's called G-code, which allows the printer to follow a pattern and print layer by layer. You would usually use something like Cura, Simplify 3D, or Slicer. Simplify 3D is a paid product uh, with Cura and Slicer being free. So what is 3D printing? What are 3D printers? Well, you can get different types of 3D printers. You get something called an SLS printer, which is a very expensive printer, which uses a fine powder and lasers to cut in or to print and sinter and melt the plastic together. And one of the major advantages of this type of printer is that you don't need support structure and the parts are extremely strong but the printers are really expensive and so is the uh, the powder that you would use. Then you would go for something like SLA. SLA is a laser-based printer, again, that cures resin using an ultraviolet laser, and uh, also these are very expensive and rather messy. You then get something called a DLP printer. Now, a DLP printer uses a normal, a normal LCD screen with resin, and you would print out a very, very detailed model rather quickly because it prints an entire layer at one time. This is usually used in dentistry and other medical fields. Then you get to my favorite, FDM. Now, FDM is the, the cheapest home-based printers that you can buy. Uh, they're easy to use. They're not messy. Uh, the filament is great. Uh, it's cheap. It's not difficult to use these printers. So. What are the basic working of these printers? Well, as I said, you get your filament, you get different types of filament, you get your ABSs, your polycarbonates, and your nylons. These are your strong filaments, but they are difficult to print with. You usually need an enclosure to keep the, the whole print warm while it's printing so that it doesn't warp. And then you get uh, materials like PLA and PETG. Now, PLA is the most common print material out there. PLA is easy to print with, um, it adheres nicely to the bed. PETG is also relatively easy to print with, um, and the problem with PLA is that it's not very strong. Now PETG is stronger. It's almost on the, the class of ABS, but um, it's not quite as easy to print as PLA, but still a great material to work with. So how does a 3D printer work? Well. You got your filament over here and your filament goes down through what's called an extruder. Now the extruder pushes your filament through a Bowden tube. The Bowden tube goes into your hot end which melts your filament and then it prints it out on the print bed. Um, just bear in mind when you start working with this you're going to get a lot of fails. Even a professional will get a lot of failures and you will get this. This is all my fails or one of my bins of failures and unfortunately that is the name of the game. As Einstein said, failure is success and progress. I like that. Right, so what can you print with 3D printers? Well, you can print things like little figurines and uh, models around that you would like, uh, little practical things like this desktop uh, fidget spinner kind of um, thing that uses, holds pens, right? And I like to print things like my tool wall, my complete tool wall is printed using this 3D printer um, in PLA, of course. Uh, and this is like a little spanner holder. We've got our hammer holder and little hooks that will go into pegboards. You can also upgrade your current printer. That's what I love about 3D printing is what other machine can print upgrades for itself. So for example, um, I printed this chain, this cable chain 
um, on the end here to hold all my cables in line. We've got these hot end cooler. We've got the extruder. Now, the ender comes with the extruder on the side here, but I didn't like it here, so I moved it over here. I printed a part. This part you can buy for about $20, but found it on Thingiverse and printed it out. You can also print in flexible materials. This is a flexible cell phone cover for an S10 cell phone. For example, also my wife came to me the other day and said that the curtain is falling off the rail. So I went and I had a look at the end stop and the end stop was gone. So I came up to the printer, went onto Thingiverse, found a curtain rail end stop, printed it out, stuck it on there, and it's still working perfectly today. So what does a 3D printer cost? Well, you can get an entry level ender printer like this for under $300 on Banggood. I've also got the GTEC at the back here. Uh, my GTEC A10M you can get from GTEC directly for $299, but I got it on Banggood for $239. Um, your filament costs around $20, and you'll be surprised how far a one kilogram roll of filament goes. Is 3D printing for everyone? I wouldn't say so. Uh, it is not an easy hobby to get into or an easy product to use uh, because there's a, a rather steep learning curve and you need to be handy with tools so you can handle things like clock no clogged nozzles, uh, you can do your bed leveling. So there is a little bit of technical skill required uh, in 3D printers. But in saying that, if you put in the time, you watch the YouTube videos, there's a lot to learn. It is great fun. I've enjoyed it thoroughly and uh, I think it's a great side hobby. So friends, that's it for today. Check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos, consider subscribing to our channel. Post comments below, tell me what you want to see, what you want to know. God bless you guys, love you guys, and see you soon. Cheers.